Is it going live yet? Yeah, okay, it's going live. Corner is not going off. I don't know why that's going off. <laughs> oh yeah, the casserole is done. Hey everybody! Does it need to get taken out? Yeah, it needs to take it out. Go take um, it out. Okay. <laughs> Bye everybody! <laughs> Bye everybody! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'll be right there, Randy. She's lying. She won't be right here. Man, that looks really good, though. Okay. But the casserole looks good. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, she's hey, back. everyone. <laughs> um, so I was freaking out because I I was like standing there making this casserole. And I'm like, holy crap, it's 3.75 in the afternoon. I'm so late for my live stream. And I was like, oh, yeah, because that's what temperature the casserole is baking at. So I'm an idiot. 3.75 in the afternoon. <laughs> it's 3.75 already? Like, no. <laughs> so, hey, y'all. <laughs> um, I hope everybody who celebrates had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I was horribly ill-prepared for today. Um, so Horribly? Horribly. Mm. So, we're live streaming because I didn't have a video. I, I had it recorded and I had it uploaded, like, uploaded. I just didn't have it ready to publish. And before I knew it, it was 3.75 in the afternoon. Um, <laughs> hey, Lori. Hey, Penny. Hey, Leathersmith in Tucson, Arizona. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Manny. Hey, Lock Nevy. I'm going to blow you mine. Ah. Oh. oh, I can see all the comments over here. All the comments. All this. Don't bite me. So we're having breakfast. It's been, oh, it's been a morning. Okay. So we got up and got Z taken care of. So now we've got a spray that will help him with being a lamp. See that little, hey Z. See my little lamp dog. This is his little lampshade head. And so little... yeah, trying to Black Friday through the store just to get stuff for like, just to get stuff for our dog. I hate Black Friday, and if we get one more Black Friday email from anyone, I quit. That's it. That's final. I mean, like, technically, we have 12 more hours, so it's gonna happen. Yeah, I know. I've been getting them. So every we turned off minutes. our email notifications. <laughs> it's a lamp dog. Yep. <laughs> We're doing great, Helen. Nicola says, "Hey everyone, afraid I can't stay long, as I have to work in a minute. We'll watch the rest of the stream later." Right on. Thanks for hanging out with us, Nicole. Have a great day at work. Um. I bought stuff on your Etsy for Black Friday. Yes, you did, and we need to get that shipped. What? The uh, the last three polymer clay faces. I have them sitting over there ready to ship. So it's just, we, uh, and then the bank, because we purchased, like we paid all of our bills online, and then the bank closed our, uh, our, card. our card. They're like, oh, this is fraudulent activity. I was like, so help me, if somebody steals my card and tries to pay my bills, Give let them, them a medal. Like, <laughs> just let them. Just let them. <laughs> let them pay my bills. Just please. Just please let them. Um, so that was fun because we were at Walmart getting stuff for the dogs and getting stuff for breakfast and the card was declined, which is fine. Like we kind of expected it because we, it, we had some complications with it the other day, but it's just like, really guys? So we're just now having breakfast at 3.75 in the afternoon. <laughs> or 12.10. Or 12.10. Um, and then we went by the post office. Yeah, where is all the First mail? sip of coffee is the day. It's to your right. Oh, okay. So I we went to the post office, and it was funny because, oh, like, good stuff. the box directly next to ours was open and, like, mm. overflowing, and I was like, oh, no. And I got there, and I was like, okay, it's not ours. So open it, and then hours overflowed out, and yep. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. So, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to open. So we're going to start mail time here in a minute. But we're having piggies in a blanket. Yes, the world yeah. must be ending. This is the third time this week I hit a live stream. Yeah, it's fair. But, but yeah, you're right, Sheila. Now mm. I, I can go spend my money anywhere in the world, but I try to pay my bills, and they're like, no, this is fraudulent. <laughs> Lizzie says, Vaughn, can I just say a huge thank you? I've been utilizing the skills learned from your tutorials, and this week my business had literally taken off like a rocket. So thank you. Oh, excellent, Lizzie. Congratulations. Where do you oh, see I'm so that? tired. What? Where do you see Lizzie, that? Lizzie, Goldsworthy. 
Oh. Oh, now I see the Ooh. word rocket. Aaron says, odd timing. I was just putting together a package for you two. Well, thank you, Aaron. Mm. Is it Christmas? I'm so tired. Randy, a copy can you do live stream for me? No. I'm just going to sit here and be. No, I cannot live stream for you. Yeah. You must fight the Balrog alone. I don't want to fight the Balrog. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Karen says, hi, Yvonne and Randy. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Did you get more info on oil painting on a cobblestone? Mm -hmm. Slightly. I've been chaining videos like crazy. Um, let me just devour this. Is that quick. what you've been watching? Hmm? Is that what you've been watching? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've got to get, I've got to get my life together. Um, Vaughn, did you ever sell stuff at school? No. Um, I didn't really talk to people very much in high school. Uh, like I was a very awkward antisocial. Being a teenager is horrible. <laughs> Opening mail can turn into show until once a month. People can send you something you taught them. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be cool. Though I'm hoping we'll have that Facebook group put together. We're losing Randy. What? Where am I going? You're losing me? Mm-hmm. Ooh, right on. Let's check through the mail. Can you help me? Well, there was one from Great Britain. I think that might be Kaz's. It's the biggest one. Mm-hmm. Come here, coffee. I need you in my body. It's a new French roast today. Hey, Denny. And um, using Almond Joy Creamer. Is the flavor of the day. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Did you just hurt yourself with it? No. Where's your scissors at? Kaz says, not mine. Dang it. Huh. We get to open it, though. What was the prize? What prize? I don't know. What are you talking about, Miki? Oh, there's comments over here. Um, Congratulations, Penny. I was up all night watching a sleepover jammy party live stream for Blitzy. I won the final prize. Ooh, what'd you win, Penny? What's a, what's a Blitzy? I have no idea. But it sounds amazing. I and I just... dollars uh, really? Tools. Wow, that's really cool. That's amazing, Penny. Die cutting stuff. Super handy. Why am I nervous with you with those scissors right next to me? Because mm. you are tender and made of meat. And quite frankly, I'd be nervous too. Um, I want to announce to you guys, speaking of giveaways, Penny, um, we are having a giveaway on our Facebook. Um, which if you type excited mark, dang it, exclamation point, um, face, right? I'm going to type in excited mark. Excited face. mark. Face. Um, then you can go and like us on Facebook and that will put you into there it ah, is. Facebook for those of y'all who are watching this live. If not, there should be eventually a link down in the video description where you can find us on Facebook but all you have to do is like us on Facebook before December 1st and it will put you <coughs> into our dragon eye giveaway I'll be doing a custom dragon eye for whoever wins and we hit 5,000 uh, followers and then if we hit 6,000 I'll be doing two eye giveaways is it six mm-hmm oh. so I was like We'll see how this goes. Yeah. This is also our first time uh, experimenting with Facebook. Was like, here's a fifty dollar coupon for advertising, and so we were like, okay. So we're experimenting with that to see. Yeah. And so far, it's really I would never weird. pay for Facebook advertising because like they're it. like, here's a here's a coupon for it. And we're like, okay, cool. And then like, you owe us this much, and I'm like, what? What no. on earth is this? And then they just keep sending new ones saying, you owe more and more and more. Hey, that's one of the things that I almost bought her. So I'm glad I didn't. This is not the iridescent one. Is it not? So you can still get me that one. Oh, <laughs> oh you guys, look it. Lisa says, oh, I almost bought that yesterday. Doc's paints. Oh, my lord. Can I use these on polymer clay? I want to use them on everything. Sorry, Lana. All these colors. Ooh. 
Oh, look at no stay Watercolor away, calligraphy down. pens, airbrush. It's airbrush safe. Uh, pens, technical illustration, designing, light, fast, and archival, waterproof, fine art pigments, acid free, and non toxic. So I can eat it if this I want to, but I won't. I've actually caught. I'm so Not paying India ink. Sorry. Well, well, welcome, Blue Ash Tree. Not paying India ink. My mistake. This is awesome. Sam Dog, I think he wants it in your lap. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen. You know? No. Okay. Next. Uh, okay. <sighs> oh, and it fits into the drawers, too. Does it? Like, yep. Fantastic. Ah! I just got excited because of the brand. Love it. Right on. This is from Cedar Hills, Texas, on Cedar Hill Road. From someone named Jeff, or E Penguins. What's E Penguins? Oh. They're like penguins. Okay, you've seen Madagascar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Their little feet. Um, it's we don't know until we open the box sometime who's who it's ah. from. It's from someone named Jeff. <laughs> My ears perked up. I heard penguins? Who sent Packing the ink? peanuts. Yay! A whole who box sent of the them. ink? Um there was no note. There was no note. And it was from uh, someone in I'm Great Britain. Car sick now. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't try to read upside down. You really shouldn't. Ooh, here's a note. Oh, is there a note? It's from the paper house in the UK. It doesn't have any kind of note of who it's from. It, I'm suspicious it might be another Secret Santa gift from... I've got some different Secret Santas out there who are here's a note. changing my life. Ooh, here's a note. I really did. Trying to read that upside down made me very... Like, I don't feel good at all now. Too bad. Maybe um, This was too... Oh, liquid Sculpey! Li liquid Sculpey? Liquid bankable clay Sculpey in silver. Ooh. Sorry, Lamp. You so I'm going to have to experiment with some of this stuff. But yeah, it doesn't have a who it's from. It's just e-penguins. Santa. Thank, thank you, Santa. <laughs> Next. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Excuse me, Lamp. Hey, Lamp. This one is from ehobbycrafts.com. Santa's the best. How did you guys get started in crafting as a business? Um, well, Randy and I started dating, and he would buy me jewelry. And she'd take it apart. And I would take it apart because I have metal allergies, so I would, like, replace the ear hooks. Or so I stopped buying her jewelry. <laughs> and he started buying me beads. Um, and one year for, it was, like, our second Christmas together, he got me a chainmail kit. Um... <laughs> And, yeah, I didn't know they had silver liquid Sculpey either. Um, More peanuts! Those aren't as good as they look, like, for eating. Don't eat them. Um, but, and Ooh. so, uh, he got me a chain meal kit from the Ring Lord, and I made, like, 80 bracelets. Right, and so we did a craft show, and it went really well so we kind of just kept going down that route but i really liked dressing up for the renaissance festivals and i really liked you know a lot of like fantasy fairy stuff so it was like everything just kind of lined up and then we found out oh what are those what would you find out find out about what yeah i don't know you stopped mid story i forgot what i was saying That's oh, i gotta touch them you what gotta are finish those? your story i don't remember my story He's opening my presents, you guys. <laughs> we did a craft show and found out something. What it is is a mystery. Oh, found out that we liked doing it. Don't lose my peanuts, Randy, they say. <laughs> well, there's no note in this guys, one either. Guys, clay cutters in different shapes. And sizes. These ones are teardrop shaped. I'm going to have to get another organizing tray so that I can... <gasps> and then these are round ones. Circle cutters. Mini cutters are the bestest thing ever. Ooh, these ones are squares. Oh, <gasps> and little hearts. Heart charge machine. I can't wait to use these. 
Hi, Randy and Vaughn. First time catching you live. Hey, MG. This one is also from E Penguins. E Penguins. That is more Sculpey. Are you more Sculpey? Still don't feel good. Super lightheaded. That's my main obstacle with trying to do that Ooh. aerial stuff. <gasps> what is it? In the packing peanuts? It sucks. That's not funny. They sent you socks. I love socks. I know you do. Liquid bakeable clay in pearl. This one's shiny. Holy Ooh, pearl. I'm gonna have to figure out ways to use these. Because I've never gotten the stuff that has the pearl and stuff in them before. Liquid scopey in pearl. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. <laughs> All hail Santa. All hail Santa. <laughs> do you still do any rent fest? Um, not really, no. Not for vending, but um, <laughs> for nine years running, we've gotten rejected for the Tennessee Renaissance yeah. Festival. Um, but it's uh, we used to do the uh, Alabama Ren Fair in Florence, Alabama, and that was a fun little one. Um, we were looking at doing the uh, Mid South Ren Fair in Memphis because it's going to be in October in 2018. I didn't know you could use just plastic to wrap, wrap and some stuff. Mm -mm. Drink more coffee that fixes all that ails you, right? Well, and this is the thing with a lot of the larger, more established Renaissance festivals. They're like, well, we already have a leather worker. We already have a wire wrapper. We already have a chain mailer. Um, and I can respect not wanting to overbook the same types of vendors. Um, and everybody who hand makes stuff is like, but my stuff's unique. Oh, I was like, whoops. No, Z. I was like, chewy granola. Wow! But no, Granola that, bars! That was the cardboard they used for the... Oh, oh, ooh. oh. What, What's this? What's this? This is from this Steve and Penny Baldwin. Thank you so much, Steve and Penny. Baldwin. Bubble wrap. Saved a bubble wrap. <gasps> what's this? It's a little tree. It's a tree of life. It's, supposed it's to be. a little polymer clay mold. It says tree of life, polymer clay push mold jewelry making DIY. Number 10. <gasps> little feet. More feet. Oh, it's a gift. It says gift on the back. Is it? Is it tree? For the liquid clay? Well, because these are, they're hard molds. So I don't know if I should use. Oh, they are tiny feet. It's very cool. One's quite deeper than the other, but I think that'll be neat. But check it, guys. Crafters are hoarders. So hard. It's like, don't throw away the bubble wrap. Thank you, Rhea. My sister actually got me the shirt for uh, Christmas last year. Last year? More bubble wrap. Next. Z, you smell funny. Can you move? Hello, Lamb. Hey, Z. He says, I will catch all that falls. Can I are give him... Are you really giving him breakfast? Yeah, I'm giving him some breakfast. Come over here, guys. Bam, you're missing it. You're missing it. You're missing it, Sam. Quick. <laughs> Quick, get together. Sam in the back, too. You can use mold release in them. Okay. The liquid clay stays rubbery. Hmm. For your fairy houses, don't they look haunted? Ooh, we could do some oh, that look haunted. Well, nobody is sending notes. They're just sending you stuff. Right. I missed the notes. But I like oh, the stuff. Polymer clay. Ooh. Oh, wow, and a wee bitty little applicator. Micro brush that was for a candle. <laughs> <laughs> for tiny painting or gluing. And this is just Sculpey transparent bakeable clay. Mm -hmm. I need a 12 step program for beads and paint and clay. <laughs> my husband and brother in law are fixing up the attic for me in my crafting room. Oh, Teresa, that'll be so cool. That's cool. Next! Are you serious? <laughs> You overload, you two exude happiness. <laughs> I felt the same about the hoarder issue. I love all things one can make stuff out of or put stuff in, right? Like, we've actually decided the living room, this room over here, uh, that couch is kind of coming apart. Um, it's a kidney. What? I didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send me internal organs. Um. I know what it is. What is it? <laughs> I want to see. <gasps> <gasps> Diamond glaze. Told you it's a kid. Dimensional adhesive used directly over artwork for a raised glass like finish or as a dimensional glue for glitter, beads, glass, metal, plastic, and paper. Directions do not shake. Oops. 
<laughs> Did I shake it? Um, apply directly or dilute with water up to 50-50. Pigments and dyes can be added. Store bottle tightly capped and out of direct sunlight. How long does it hmm. take to dry? Don't know. It doesn't say. I'll have to look it up. Economy size. <laughs> hey, Sam Dog. What's up? And that was the last one. That was it. Oh my gosh, though. Yay. Jenny, we will still be here in 30 minutes, I imagine. What's happening in 30 minutes? She's going to come back after dinner. Oh, dinner. I have the, Amber <laughs> says I have the same issue. With? I want to learn how to do everything, so I hoard everything I find until I can use it or have time to learn. E <laughs> e hey! <laughs> do, 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 so I stole Randy's spot. Um, do you play basketball? No, I'm not much of a jumper. Um, I, I'm just saying, I didn't know. Ah. Bye. Morning, Bye. Derpy Pigeon. Going for coffee. Um, hello. Hey, Dragon. Hello, Moto. Multi-craft problems, right? Ah. Hey, Fussy Do. I have my coffee with me and ready to go. Vaughn, that stuff is for doming. How long does it take 12, to dome? Yes. Like, we'll have to Google it and figure out, because it didn't come with instructions, I don't think. What you doing in my chair? I don't know. I'm just sitting in your chair. You guys seem very nice. We're basically swamp trolls. Like, basically. don't let it fool you. Hey, lady. What? You're immature. You're immature. <laughs> Get mature. Uh -uh. Make me. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> you know. Farted in your hair. No! Yes. Not my hair. The very same. <laughs> oh, I see. You're just going to ditch me now? Yeah, I got to ditch you. Will you keep moderating for me? Ugh. I got to show them what I made. <laughs> okay, so, sorry, we're not. I left my coffee. I'll be right back. Uh, yes, actually, a little bit of Black Friday shopping. Ooh. Sure. Yeah, we went to go get a few things uh, for the dog this morning. So we popped in to Walmart and um, got to have that coffee. And... Randy got Fantastic Beasts and where to find them for like, I don't know, very inexpensive. For yellow price sticker. For yellow price sticker. And then he got Deadpool for a yellow price sticker also as well. Sticker. And then because we always need them for in the booth, he got a portable battery. So. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the portable battery will be good. Oh, goodness. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Okay, so I figured out. Do it, Randy. I said that replaces my copy of Deadpool. What happened? Oh, yeah. I used to have a copy of it. I gotcha. Um, so, the Green Man mold that we got in the mail yesterday, I went through and I made a batch of cabochons last, oops, last night. So you can kind of see here. Hey, Dark Fury. Now, I haven't done anything to these yet other than I did not see that they had a GoPro on sale. What? Who did? I don't know. Sheila just said, did you see the GoPro they had on sale? We did get but a I'm, Dremel. We did get a Dremel. Our friend picked us up, up a Dremel 3000 with flex shaft and accessories from Lowe's for like 40 bucks. So, at Walmart, Sheila says. Really? Mm-hmm. Not ours. Not our Walmart, Randy says. Ours is terrible. Our Walmart is really bad. Like... Lori says, Vaughn, got the Helmar matte spray and used it on Polymer Fairy Home. Works pretty good. Nice soft matte appearance and went on easy dries quick. Right on. How did it go with the burnt one yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I did a second batch exactly like the first. Same clay and everything. Did you put it on the tray? I did not put it on the tray. So and that was exactly the like only the difference. Well, that was, that was the only difference was that I didn't put it on the metal tray. I just set the silicone mold in there. Same exact clay as in the last batch, and they came out perfect. So the only thing I can figure is having that metal tray underneath it just complicates it. Um, and then I, I did, like, three other batches. Um, <laughs> Penny said, I was mad at the Walmart near you, Vaughn. They refused to ship one of the nail polish colors I wanted to send you when I got the, those others. Right on. But I really like how this one came out. 
just like a little mottled thing. Okay, hey Randy. Hey. I gotta hop into the restroom real quick. Oy. Do you wanna come talk to these kind folks? No. You should talk to them because a lot of your but patrons you should bring watch this here. too. I will bring it over to you. Ah, oh, that's a much easier solution. Well, I, I was just asking if you'd talk to them. Okay. <laughs> in the in the toilet. Go to the restroom in the and toilet. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, Uh, we're going snowboarding in March. Wow. I can see one up close. Uh, yeah, sure. That did not happen. No one saw that happen. How did she have? I think she had it like that. So, yeah. Basically, I'll do this guy. Well, maybe not. Ta da! Now I'm gonna put that back. Yes, you guys know nothing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Don't even know what you're talking about. And the important question, what is the second number of the alphabet? Two? <laughs> if A is one, then B is two? Hmm. So there's a Deadpool baseball cap? My hair is still crazy. Because we literally woke up and went straight to Walmart to get Z, because he was... He was in pain. Oh, that's cool, Dick. Bye. What else we got? Uh, what's your cosplay character? Um. Ah, uh, well, I'm going to go with just a random Saiyan from Dragon Ball Z. It's going to be interesting, I think. Uh. I want to make some Saiyan armor because I think that's cool. Like I, in 12 years of doing conventions, I've seen maybe four, four people walking around in Saiyan armor. And uh, I don't know, I think it'd be cool to actually make some. So we're gonna try to make some out of foam. And once we get the pattern down, we are going to make some out of leather. So I'm excited about that. Did Walmart shopping help <laughs> Puppy Dog? I hope so. We got some spray stuff that's supposed to be like numbing and wound cleaner solution. So every time he just comes up to us, just spray him. Hey, Randy. Hmm? You can have the rest of my piggies in a blanket. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm casserole. Yeah, I definitely, once we uh, figure it out, we're definitely going to do a video on it, on how to do the armor. I'm thinking Z might have allergies too. I think he's allergic to fleas. And uh, we were doing really well. And not to be like, oh, Asmuth brought his dog over. But he did. And it was important that he did because he's going to be moving in. We wanted to make sure his dog was going to get along with ours. But his dog is an outside dog. So when he brought over, yeah. I think he got some And fleas. it was right at the end of their flea pill cycle anyways. Yeah. So it was like perfect opportunity for it to happen. And But I happened. think I think Z chewed on himself and got an infection from where he was chewing on it. Probably. But this spray is helping. And you're doing much better, aren't you, baby? Poor little eye booger critter. And we will give him a bath and, mm -hmm. and dung so we're just gonna let his uh, back end heal up a little bit first. Because right now, if there is a fungal thing, the last thing I want is to get all of him damp. Uh, what is it? Any fine. Just one. I'm going to steal death this. Note. Oh, that's cool. Someone got a death note notebook. Ooh. Ha ha ha. What is it you're showing us? Uh, that would be the cabs that Vaughn made yesterday. <laughs> Just in case you missed it earlier, Randy, I made sure to package things. I saw that, Aaron. Thank you. But yeah. 
So these are they may the calves. Have already seen them. Do what? They may have already seen them. Did you show them? I did. Well, I was going to show them again. But I'm going to go through with some like rub and buff and then possibly dimensional. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. But I am really excited about these little green man ones. And I was experimenting a little bit yesterday. Um, Randy Vaughn, I just got the Death Note notebook. Right on. I want the Dragonfly one. <laughs> well, it's, I was thinking about making a whole bunch of these for next month, like December's Patreon packages. Pearl X, right? <laughs> well, I like to use Pearl X on it. I showed him like a champ. <laughs> oh, I missed it. AKA, I may have dropped one. <laughs> Rand, what did you drop? Did it break? No. <laughs> oh, if you don't want a shiny look on the backs of them, just put any piece of paper on your tile when you bake. Right on. Oh. Well, I kind of, I don't really mind the shiny look, and then I sand them anyways, so. But, um, you can see this one, I used baby powder as the mold release, and this one, I just used water. So, we call a German dish pigs in the blanket. Oh, yeah? Where did the dragonfly mold come from? This one was actually... Well, no, it was a piece of jewelry oh. that we had purchased. Like, they came in like a two-pack. There was this one, and then I cut the little nubs off of it and filed it down. And then I just take this, and I kind of, like, smush it into the polymer clay. These are nice, and nothing happened. <laughs> That's a great idea. Well, it's, I mean... I really like the texture and stuff on it. The only difficulty for me with things like this is um, spicy broth with sausage in an egg noodle cover. Huh. <laughs> don't, don't hassle the half, Penny. <laughs> but now you can see I just kind of, it smushes not quite completely uniformly, but it just fits right in there. And I usually spritz with um, my same bottle that I use for my leather working. I just spritz it on there and then uh, do some molds. But yeah, another opportunity for those of y'all who are in here who might not have been in here when I said it earlier. I'm having a Facebook giveaway. If you like our page on Facebook, Back to Earth Creations, um, then uh, I'm doing a Dragon Eye giveaway. Sorry, I got distracted. Um... So Sherry asks, what mold did you use? It wasn't a mold. Here I go, almost dropping them. Um, I just used this pre-purchased dragonfly pendant and then, that I, and then <laughs> smushed it on there. But for the green man, I used this mold that was sent to me by Santa. <laughs> so... Button says, I'm still up for a collaboration of some sort. What would you like to do? Oh, I have no idea. I'm still trying to get caught up on custom work and stuff, too. So, I, I have no idea. I'm up for suggestions, though. Which I really kind of, I don't know. I'm excited. To... How's their dog for in my coffee already? But yeah, I made green bean casserole with buttermilk. For... Oh, is that what you chose to do with the buttermilk? Mm-hmm. And it came out super good. You and Randy really, really made that craft area look awesome. Thank you, Penny. I Dog hair is a condiment, right? <laughs> and then the, um, the butterfly and dragonfly wing stamps that were sent to me are what I was using for these guys. That sounds good, Buttons. <laughs> Aloha, y'all. Just little, uh, I'm just using black Sculpey or, um, Primo Sculpey. <laughs> Is it Primo? Mm-hmm. Use that Primo stuff. I use the Primo shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Michelle in New York. Um, not too much. We've kind we of just been fooling opening. around. We, we missed mail opening, but now we get to play with all the stuff we got in the mail. So, right after I eat the heck out of this casserole. What did Aaron say? Hmm? Uh, I cannot wait for the Facebook group since I have an awesome and easy tea bag holder set up I'd love to share right on. We're going to have to get that put together. Yeah, Penny says you're off the travel season now so you can play. Something <laughs> like that. I want to finish 
think the person who sent me that uh, hammer bottle opener. Mm-hmm. So Ellie, the, uh, if you're in here or if you're watching this, that little Warhammer bottle opener that you sent Randy, he's been using the heck out of it and he loves it and he's gotten a lot of compliments on it. So thank you so much. <laughs> Shelly says, Vaughn, do you think you need to have a YouTube presence if you're trying to start a Patreon site, thinking of getting one? Uh, Shelly, it yes. certainly doesn't hurt. Um, honest to goodness, uh, worst case scenario, um, like I took two days off from uploading um, YouTube videos. This isn't directly related, but just some perspective from our end. We were busy for two days. We were super busy coming back from two shows back to back, um, trying to process Patreon stuff. And so I, I didn't upload for two days and our revenue dropped by 10%. And so from we were YouTube. like, do what? From YouTube. From YouTube. Um, so Patreon definitely has given us some sense of stability, but even, like, for Randy, uh, YouTube, until recently, was not monetizing his videos because he didn't have well, enough lifetime views. It was, and then they changed it, and then I wasn't, and then I right. reached the lifetime view, and then they were like, 14 cents again. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, so, Randy treats it like every single one of his YouTube videos, while being the content that he wants to create, is also, is also behaving as a commercial for his Patreon. Um, and so, it's... And also, YouTube's a fantastic way to offer content for your patrons mm -hmm. um, that is non-physical, so you don't have to pay for shipping. You digital. don't have to, you know, do what? It's digital. It's digital. <laughs> digital. Right. Content. I have to say, recording and crafting and coming out with a successful video is tough. Whether it's an SD card or a battery, what do you do? I record it on my phone. This is Randy's phone. Um, I record it on my phone, and which is over there. <laughs> And then just upload it sometimes if it doesn't need edited or if it's just not getting edited. Um, I just upload it directly from my phone to YouTube. Like, actually, I miss you over there. Can I come sit by you again? Yeah, I guess. Took my shoes off. Excuse me, Lance. He's like, why do you go to keep doing this? I told you I took my shoes off. No. Well, I just, I want to come sit next to you. Uh, he's wanting to Just let my me space. be in your way. Well, that and it says Randy Vaughn in the title, so we have to hang out with each other now. That's fair. Me. They did put me in the title. Is he throwing my stuff? Hey, Sam just about got a face full of my casserole. <laughs> um, oh, my what? mini battery pack is not a toy. You're not Dang a toy. it. It's this um, one right here, number six. It's not a toy. I need to make inventory, and I can't do that without jump rings. Yeah. Preach, Sarah. Same. Yeah, figuring out all the video and recording and editing and uploading stuff is the hardest part of being new to YouTube. I agree, Manny. But it's like, as you power through it, you'll get the hang of it. And there's certain <laughs> things that I'm actually held back from on doing on my videos, like crediting, which I can't do until I hit... I don't know, I might be able to do it now that I've hit 10,000 views. But there's a lot of, like, you can't live stream until you hit 50 uh, subscribers. Um... You can't make money at it until you've got 10,000 lifetime views. You can't credit uh, people in your... Like, put other YouTubers in the credits. Because um, there's, like, this thing that you can do down at the bottom of the video when you're editing it. Yeah. That, like, whenever... If Randy's collabing with me on a video, I can credit him, but he can't credit me. I don't have enough subscribers. Um, so and... I'm just like, that. that's really lame. You, you... I don't know. I'm I'm a big fan of giving credit where credit is due, so whenever, like, the Thor video, how we did it, the two of us, and we had Zach and Lauren, I was going to credit Lauren and Vaughn in the, the video. Couldn't do it. But that was at the beginning of the month, and things are always in change, so I need to look again. But it's it's a little annoying. Mm -hmm. It's I feel like YouTube's doing a lot of things by limiting what new YouTubers, seedling YouTubers, are able to do. Um, they're hin they're handicapping them. So, so you have fine. to overcome these obstacles to be able to get to where you can do these things. And I'm like, exactly, Sheila. Sheila says, then how can you pull in viewers? Uh, Michelle, yeah. Z's doing much better. He's still miserable and has a lampshade on his head, but such is life. But it's a duct tape Yeah, and, and now. Randy does still verbally credit, and he still puts it in the description, but it's just, uh, it's... 
a little crappy that you can't utilize all the features that YouTube has to offer right off the bat. You have to like level up first. And I'm like, mm, considering I don't think it costs them, and I don't know, it might be very, super expensive to them, and I have no idea. Penny says, Tony just texted me from the basement, says he loves me. <laughs> it's like, Why what? the evil crap? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was going to show them, though. Oh, what are you showing me? On my phone. Okay, so what we do, this is my phone. <laughs> it's a RPG at this point. Kinda. Galaxy... S8? S8? Yeah, Samsung yeah. Galaxy S8. Is it S8? Yeah. You logging in for me? Oh, I can, yeah. I was trying to look. I don't know. Yes, it's an S8 because it's got the stupid little mm -hmm. charger thing at the bottom. The weird butthole. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say that, but yes. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? This is my phone. I go into camera and I record things. No, it is blah, 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 like do this so or do like... do a quick camera record thing. Do what? Do a quick camera record thing. Okay. Oh, I'm recording you guys. Oh, look at Randy. Okay. So there's a video. Um, Not a good one. Qu 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 uh, quantity over quality. <laughs> um, oh, Sheila says, I just saw a YouTuber that got demonetized because he had autism in all of his titles. It is getting ridiculous. But... And then from there, I click YouTube, the little YouTube app thing. And then you can see up here, maybe? Kind of. Yeah, there you go. Oops, Oop. what I click? Nope. nope. Ah! There goes being able to monetize our video. Um, <laughs> okay, maybe if I turn the brightness down. Yeah, so that little boop, that little camera, camera. thing right there. You click hey. that camera button. <laughs> We're live. Um, you click that camera button, and you can see... It looks totally questionable, but those are just my hands down in the bottom. Didn't it look like a bunch of just... Yeah, it does look weird. <laughs> those are different um, segments to the next video. Different segments to my next video. This is just my fingers, guys. It just looks incriminating. Um, and you can either click record um, to record video through the... Uh, yeah, a bunch of pink parts, right? Um, record. Like, I could click record. And it lets you it basically record the without the camera without, app. Yeah. Or you can click go live, which is what we do right now. But if I live stream off of this phone, it drops it um, pretty frequently. Like it drops the stream. Or you can click the video that you just did. Like the blah, blah, blah one. Um, and you can go through. I leave them all set on private as I'm uploading them. I just put in a loose title and then I edit this um, on either computer. on the computer um, but yeah, you basically just put in a few details and then click that blue button and it uploads it. So, and then for a lot of my video editing, I use this app called YouTube Studio. It's the little, oops, clicked the wrong one. Dad, dub it, touch screens. Um, YouTube Studio, clicky boop. And it lets you edit the thumbnail. It lets you put in a whole bunch of tags and stuff. Like, it lets you look at your analytics. Um, with your comment about your hands, you make me question if I get all this work done because you have more hands than we do. <laughs> well, it's just different times and places of time travelers. Um, and then Randy also, for some of his video games, uses this app called YouTube Gaming, which you can click on. Um, for the fast forward and video editing... Like, YouTube Gaming will let you do screen capture on your phone. So, like, his yeah. Pokemon videos, so, that's what he uses that for. I'll show you. We're going to go... Where is it? Where's your phone? Your I phone don't know what weird. you're talking about. Your phone is weird. Okay. So, we're going to do YouTube Gaming. Oh, what a uh, what'd you click? I don't want to come back to the 3D... <laughs> three, 360 If this is camera. any kind of... If you're getting any information from this, the one thing I hope you take home from this is we have no idea what we're doing. Right. So, if we can do it, you can do it. Right. Okay, so here's the YouTube gaming. I'm gonna, there's like Wi-Fi signal and an up arrow. I'm gonna click that, and then it's gonna give me the option to stream or to record. Uh, it's really bad. I'm gonna click record. That way it's gonna record it to the phone, and as soon as it's done, it's going to let you upload it immediately, or you cannot. Or you can take it out and video edit it. Yeah, so this one is at 720 HD, or you could do it at 480. PSD, whatever that is. I'm going to do it 720. And then it's going to say a few tips and reminders, yada yada, you say next. And then it gives you a list of apps that you can use. 
we're gonna do Snapchat. I love doing Snapchat. So now you get this funny little bar across the top. If you click the record button, then it gives you a quick little countdown. And now it's recording the Snapchat. It's recording everything that's happening on your screen. Right. As well as the audio, right? Yes, the audio Ooh. as well. So now I'm going to do that. <laughs> see, they way? can't see what we're doing. If you guys want exclusive access to this video, check Randy out on his channel. Sure, why not? Yeah. We'll put it up on his channel. Oh, your phone is terrible at this. I know. So this is quality content. Oh guys. my god, this is quality content so hard. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> my mustache looks like nose hair. It's all bad. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, Have you so ever now thought... that we're done recording, we just gotta hit the little uh, portrait icon <laughs> and stop. And quality content. <laughs> stop, I say. There we go. Yeah. All right. That's where video editing comes in handy. So now it's going to do the whole upload thing and it gives you a few options. So yeah, it lets you put in some of the different info and it's like, and these apps that we use are free. I want to show them the video editing that I use on you the You want phone. me to put that on my channel? Sure. Why not? <laughs> like, All right. well, what should we name this? Derp. Derp a derp. Derp a derp. Derp a derp. Derp derp. All right. Fine. Derp. Derp. <laughs> Randy's channel um, <laughs> is uh, Randy Vaughn. Derp. I, you gotta type something. Oh, clicks. And then. Derp. That's Randy's channel, is Randy Vaughn. Okay, so you get your title in. I'm going to go ahead and take this off of private and do it to public <laughs> right now. And I'm gonna hit next. I'm dying. <coughs> I'm literally done. Uh, the description is what it is. Okay, so when you're done with it all, up in the upper right hand corner, like over here, there's a little arrow. You click your arrow, it's gonna do its thing, and now it's uploading. That'll and you take can a hot see minute. all the uh, videos I have scheduled out right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's all we do whenever we, uh, <laughs> whenever, whenever we upload videos, that's it. New to YouTube and found the two of you. You guys are great. Well, thanks, Carrie. Welcome to the internet. Um, so in about one minute, that so many second long derp, video. Derp, 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 derp. But yeah, Randy derp. does like let's plays and stuff on his uh, on his channel. But for video editing, I'm totally gonna be taking that video down. By the way, <laughs> after it's go awesome. and view it while you can. I have this app right here called Movie Maker. I don't have that up. And I click it. And you can see, this is how I do all my video editing for on Instagram. Um, it's because I can take real-time video and speed it up, remove the audio. I can do a little color tweaking on it. Um, what is your question? Watching Videos might be able to help. Sorry. Uh, hi, how are y'all doing? Love your videos. Keep up all the great work. Hey, Jamie. Thank you. We're doing really well. I'm having a very good day. I'm really glad Randy's hanging out with me, with y'all. Awesome. I use Snapchat all the time. It's perfect. It's like my favorite thing. I mean, like, just mega nose hair is what that looks like. <laughs> you, you guys, it's gonna Vanessa be says, hi, I have a question about colored drinks. What's your question, Vanessa? Tool magic is the answer. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Heaps of new watchers in here today. It does seem that way. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, What welcome. do you use to edit on your computer? I use Wondershare. Wondershare. It's a $40 program. You pay for it once, and until you uninstall it, it's yours. Mm -hmm. I actually run a much older version than Vaughn's does, so I can only take my video up to two times speed. Mine's newer, so I can do it up to five speed at a time. Other than that, all it's the features seem the, the same. same. But my laptop's crappy. Like if I have I, the if I start editing on it, um, the audio won't line up with the video just because my computer's slow. So it's great for if I'm. It's live. His video's up. Go check it out. Uh, <laughs> it looks terrible. Okay, Vanessa's question. Where'd that go? How do you keep from scratching the color off rings when making items? Tool magic. Tool magic. <laughs> I uh, told you. It's a dip that you can dip your pliers into. You can do like how Aaron says and put little leather guards on your pliers. Some people will wrap them in tape. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, make sure you're using pliers without teeth on them. 
and then from there, it's just a matter of practice, really, I think. Like, you used to scratch up rings all the time. Oh, yeah, I used to. Um, it's a whole lot of then practice. then you got a lot better at it very quickly. Well, I got better. I'm tired. Coffee. So, if you watch my, or if I watch my video on your thing, will it demonetize it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm going to go ahead and edit it. What? Why is it not suitable for all advertisers? Your smite thing. <laughs> I don't know. Why you got to be a terrorist, Randy? Why do I got to be? <laughs> <laughs> yes, toothless pliers, but make sure you have tons of baby food to keep your pliers. What? Please don't put your pliers in baby food. Aaron, that's hilarious, but stop it. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm not into video games, so I just subscribed to Randy's channel to help up his subscriber. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you so much. And he does, like, movie reviews, and sometimes uh, he catches candid footage of me around the house. Oops. Which is a little embarrassing sometimes, but mostly hilarious. Like, he makes me laugh. Um, there we go. I put, a <laughs> I put a description in there. How about that? <laughs> Probably put tags. Um, but it's like there's one video of life. your mustache did look like nose hair. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right with um, but yeah, so you get a little bit more of a private, not business oriented side of us on Randy's channel. Um, because there's a time and a place for things. I can't find the video you just did. It's called Derp 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 Let's see here. Snapchat. I don't know why y'all hang out test. with us. Like, we're dorks so hard. All of those. All of those things sound good. changes. My face hurts from laughing so much. I'm also going to put a card in there right at the beginning. Oh, really? Yeah, why not? What for what for? What do you mean, what for? It's a 55 second long video. Mm. You both make me smile. Subscribed. Oh, thanks, MG. Oh, Vaughn, I know you're getting into the makeup side of cosplay. You should definitely check out Glam and Gore and Ellie Max. I do follow Glam and Gore. I have, don't know if I follow Ellie Max, though. I just watched the Derby Turkey. You should win awards. <laughs> Too much turkey happened. makes for silly. We haven't had any turkey. We actually had pork yesterday at a friend's house for Thanksgiving, and it was so good. Okay. Yeah, we haven't it's watched this yet. It's got 10 views already. <laughs> that was one of your best viewed videos. No. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, won't, I won't watch this full screen. <laughs> <laughs> the mustache nose bush is killing Penny. The video is... <laughs> now, it's recording the Snapchat. It's recording everything that's happening on your screen. Right. This is as well as the audio, thing. right? Yes, the audio Ooh. as well. Ooh, so look at the face. I'm going to... Do that. <laughs> they can't see what Sorry, you the derpy video, but he's well. Go watch it with us, guys. On his channel. Sure, why not? Yeah. We'll put it up on his channel. Oh, your phone is terrible at this. I know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God, your face, honey. The content's so hard. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> So now that we're done recording, <laughs> we just gotta hit the little uh, portrait icon. That's it. Stop. That's it. That's, that's, that's it. That's all the. Oh my god. I do not drink coffee. It stunts your growth. Or at least my grandma told me that one. I should not have listened. I am six foot eight. That's fair. Oh man. Wow. So that was a thing. Comedy gold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make a puddle. <laughs> oh man, our parents would be proud. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, those uh, you should write to Samsung and see if they would be interested in sponsoring you by uploading view tutorials on how to YouTube using their phones. That's a That's really, a good, really idea, good idea, Brenda. Yeah. Leave it up, Randy, please. This is Manny. <laughs> Okay, sure. It's it raises those. That's it. That's life now. It's got a few. Um, tags. Melissa Why says, not? "Hey, Vaughn, I've been wanting to tell you this ever since you opened those PBO paints. Go check out Jacqueline Parks on Facebook or Gems and Bloom on Instagram. PBO Copper Blanks. Okay, I'll do that. Cool. Oh, I'm tired. You've only been streaming for fifty-four minutes. Bleh. Everyone needs a nose <laughs> video in their life. <laughs> okay, what's really in your coffee? Uh, Almond Joy Creamer. <laughs> Given the fact that you think about Samsung, you should also look into the companies who make the products you use commonly. 
We do, and we actually we work pretty closely with Parawire. Nice, um, right. But then we became Amazon affiliates, so that really helps too. What's up, baby? Do you have a spray? Do you want, do you want the good stuff? You want a hit of the good stuff? He's like, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Good boy. Ah! Good boy. Okay, here you go. Well, I guess I'm going to go back over there, and I'm going to craft a little bit. Okay. You should do that. Will you keep hollering questions at me? Okay. Can I have uh, some headache medicine? Sure. Where is it? Where it always is. Okay. Okay. I was going to play, but that's fun. Well, we can do this for a bit. Oh, I, I have a bottle of water. Oh, well, fine. I got that one for you earlier. Yeah, but I'm still drinking on this. My probiotics. Randy can roll over to you so you don't miss him. No, he never does that. And a happy Thanksgiving weekend to you guys, too. Yay! <laughs> okay, uh, I'm still on the camera. Funny, funny, Thank funny. you, Randy. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, poor Z Dog. He might just surprise me. That'd be nice. He surprises me a lot, though. <sighs> Sam, what's the matter? What was I doing? I don't know. He said something about crafting. Right. What's the matter, Sam? Let me take some headache medicine, you guys. Sam, no, Sam, no. Ibuprofen. Watch man? Randy's video go by. Right? Ugh. Um. Hey, Randy, can I have your charger? Yes. It has not been plugged in. Has it? No, it has not. I hate taking pills. Ugh, I hate taking pills. My dad used to take a handful of pills twice a day, like 30 pills in the morning. Um, and it was just like, I don't know how he did it because I have to take them like one at a time. And so I'd have been like three hours later taking a pill. <laughs> it's nice outside. Doesn't it? Like 70 something. Mm. And I lost all my hair ties. Okay. Maria says, my mom too. I have a quick question. I was looking at your tutorials and was wondering if you made any polymer, polymer cling horns with the cord attaching them to your head. I may have missed it. What are you pointing at? What's going the on? The candlestick holder. Which, oh, hair ties. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> All the hair ties. Um, I didn't do that modification in the tutorial about my polymer clay horns. But it would be just as easy as um, using like a needle, like a large like awl or something, and pushing it through the clay so that they stick. But I could probably do another tutorial for you if you want. Ugh. Okay, I gotta take these pills real quick. I'm gonna do it off camera just in case they don't go down. You get a ice resin, and a PBO on bork, bork. vessel yesterday. I haven't done the ice resin yet because I'm going to let them cure for the 72 hours for the PBO paints. Melissa. Time for a few jumping jacks to get your blood moving. Time for a few something. Probably I'm not doing jumping jacks on camera. That's ridiculous. I probably should do jumping jacks with a headache. That sounds like a really bad idea. You don't have to. Aw. <sighs> No, it's, I've just been having so much neck and shoulder pain. Randy and I actually have to buy a new bed. Next month. Um, next yeah, month. Morning. Yep. But I want to show you guys some of the stuff that's upcoming in December's Patreon package. Did you use the Pebio Moon and Prism paints? They're really fun to use. I did, Sally, and they are super fun to use. Um... Some of the stuff that will be in next month's Patreon package kit will be the stuff to make your own little wire wrapped. This is actually tomorrow's tutorial. Your own little wire wrapped donuts. I thought it was tomorrow's tutorial for the next three days. <clears throat> what? <laughs> you hassling the half, Randy? Yeah, I'm hassling the half. <laughs> uh, as well as there will be the stuff to make your own wire wrapped key. Um, and you might get, the more you pledge, the more stuff you'll get. I'm also going to try to do little cabochons for everyone. I've already started sculpting them. Um, but yeah, I really like the ones that I did with the water. 
<laughs> um, I just felt like they came out cleaner than the stuff that had the uh, baby powder. But I'm going to be moving the camera for just a sec. I know, I'm always moving the camera. It's just how it goes. Sorry, I got to get this moved off of here. And this is probably my favorite thing I've ever invested in. Where did you buy the mold you were using yesterday? <laughs> it was given to me, actually. And I'm not entirely sure where it was from. I don't have the paper with me right now. But, um... It was from Beehive Emporium. Okay, so now we can move this up here. Poor little lamp. That's my Randy. I love you. I love you too. Okay, flipping this around. So now we can look at this stuff here. <clears throat> the little messes, such as life. Is this the local news? Is this the, the, is this the local news? A little bit. YouTube maintenance. <laughs> Uh, Samuel, I live in Missouri, and you can see this was just scrap clay that I kind of blended together and then started mixing in with some black to make it stretch, and that's actually how I got this color, and I really love those pearl clays. <coughs> Bless you, Randy. But what I did with this one is I did a super thin layer of the, no, it was this one that I did a super thin layer of the black clay. And I was going to experiment with this a little bit. Hmm? And so here I have a succession of different grits of sandpaper. I have 400. Uh, 2,000. They're completely out of order. Okay, so 400. 600. 800, 1,000, 1,200, and 2,000. I get all my sandpaper um, from Amazon, but you could also get it in the uh, automotive section. What was the question? Can you mix clays, and if so, what kinds? Um, well, I'm sorry, one more time. Can you mix clays, and if so, what kinds? Yes, I think you can. When I, sorry, it's, I just brain farted super hard. Um, I mix together mostly just Sculpey because it all takes, because <laughs> it all takes the same bake temperature, but, um, you can, uh, if you mix like something that bakes at a lower temperature, uh, with something that bakes at a higher temperature, then, um, just bake at the lower temperature. But, uh, I, I mostly just use Sculpey though, so I'm not, uh, I don't feel very confident in my being able to recommend stuff. So I'm coming through. I just squirted some water on there. And then I'm going to try to take off the top layer of this black. I'm not really good at sanding stuff. There's got to be an easier way of going about this. Um, what if one kind has an oily base to it? Hmm. Yeah, really good tip, Erin. Um, this is wet, wet and dry sandpaper. I do not recommend just regular old sandpaper. Okay, Manny says, what I have seen, you can mix clays, but you have to bake at the mid-temperature between the two. That makes sense. Man, this black does not want to come off. So I thought it would be easier to sand through the black layer, but even that super thin, I did it on the thinnest setting of the pasta machine, even that's just really hard to get through. And that's why we do experiments like this.
Dremel time. You had Dremel time for sure. Except for that all the bits on my Dremel are way too coarse for this. But it still shines it up nicely. Prolix powders to add the blue back. Yeah, that's a really good idea, Manny. <sighs> but I can show you guys how I used this green man. Yeah, Manny's very informative. So I'm going to condition this God, clay. Chew your food. You're an animal. He just swallowed it whole. Oh, really? Yes. Poor dog. So I'm oh, just conditioning sound. the clay. Oh, really? <laughs> By rolling it and then folding it. Chew your food, you animals. until it's nice and warm. <laughs> okay, so there we are. And then I'm just gonna roll it into a ball. Yes. Okay, so it's all rolled together, nice and seamless. Flipping the screen back around. Boop. So here we are with this really mold and this is a hard mold so I'm basically filling it with water this is how I did it yesterday um, and it makes a bit of a mess but I'm just taking it <clears throat> oh, the, water goes everywhere. the water does go everywhere but it acts like a really effective repel and so I'm just kind of squishing. Jordan says, I need a body form. I was thinking of doing one of those duct tape ones. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. And now I'm just using my hand to Great. smush. Smushing. Really smush it in there. And you can see how easily that released. When there's some left on there, um, I clean it up with alcohol and a soft toothed scrub brush. But you can see, that's our little uh, green man. Hey Carol. Well, we did a mail opening and now I'm cutting out some cabochons for next month's Patreon gifts. Answer some questions. Answer some questions. We're silly for a bit. Hey, that was answering questions. Yeah. Now the hard part for me is getting this stuff to be nice and lined up though. So he looks pretty centered in there. Randy! What? I miss you. I'm you're all the you. you're all the way over there. Yeah. Um, thanks for the water tip. I tried with a hard mold like that and could not get it back out. I wonder if smoosh is in the dictionary. It should be. Do you find you lose it's some details in baking? Um, let's see. Strophylactic. It's in the dictionary. It is. So this is same technique before baking and after baking. Mm. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. What piece of leather do you suggest I start with? Because I have a cool cat sent in the mail. Ooh, um, it depends. What project are you uh, going to be working on first, do you think? So do you lose details when you do it? I don't know. And that's, I imagine if you do any kind of sanding or anything, you might lose some details. But I don't think, it just, it loses some of its shine. I would recommend vegetable tanned leather, Carol, for uh, for your first kind of leather to work with because you'll be able to use all your different tools on it. But I'm really pleased with that green man that came out super cool. And I'm just using these as kind of like a cameos for in jewelry making. So I'm going to take the rest of our, try to wipe off the excess water 
Well, some of the details can also pop when you use different paints or glosses. 40 millimeter modelers use that trick all the time for Warhammer. Oh, okay. So just fold and roll. <laughs> Slow motion. Just like that. And see, the water will act like a repel and it won't want to come together. But you can just kind of smush and fold, get it all, get it all together. Happy little snake. Happy little snake. I love the slow motion. <laughs> and then I just come in and more. And then place it and smoosh. Mm hmm. And so I just make sure to roll and fold and stuff and because it kind of extrudes it out. Hmm. Huh. It can explode and burn it when it bakes. Mm hmm Do you think that might have something to do with what? I didn't use any water uh, for that project. Hey, Vaughn, not sure if you're able to see my Facebook message, but if you could find a picture <laughs> that you want of you and Randy done with the laser and sent it to me. Love to make you a gift. Wow, okay. Um, and see, this is it starting to get gunked up on the mold. Where did you get the the mold you yesterday? This was sent to me by a secret Santa, and um, it was from, oh, what was the name? The, oh, the Beehive Emporium in Spring Valley, California. When I went to Tandy Leather, I told him your name, and he said, oh, yeah. Oh, really? Wow. That's cool, Carol. <laughs> I have a question about what you can use yes. for, for fairy, fairy houses. houses, like for the base. I've seen you use wood bird houses and glass jars, but I can't find the wood pieces um, or a jar I like. Have you used cardboard? Um, Michelle, I wouldn't mind using cardboard if it were in air dry clay. Um, and you could probably use cardboard if you're just going to be hot gluing. But I would probably not recommend the cardboard as a core for if you're baking it. You know it's only gunking up because it is a green man, but there is no green in the clay. Right on. <laughs> there is a little bit of green in some of them. Like that one had like a gold pearl. And that gold pearl really came out more glittery than what I thought it would. But like his little face got smushed. I don't know if it'll show. Mm. It's hard to do. A uh, pie in the sky. Um, we have a house sitter who comes by. Uh, they she does 4-H and stuff. Um, and it's just it's we're very lucky that we've always either had roommates or friends who would come by and uh, help us out with that. So this one, his face is less smushed. I feel like from the side. So is it sparkly clay or is that just the water? That's sparkly clay. Ah. But I was just mixing a bunch of like scrap clays together. So that's something that a lot of the times uh, his little face got smushed and cracked and all sorts of stuff. And this guy with the, again, that's with the baby powder repel. Let me see if I can't use, I have like a stiff bristled brush right here. Could you do it with an emerald green? Sure, I'll do one with an emerald green. I've got emerald green. <laughs> so the baby powder comes out pretty nicely, but I guess that's just the way his nose looks, maybe. Hey, Valerie. If you wanted the cameo effect of a light-colored face on a dark background, you would use two separate pieces of clay, or would you work the, the light and dark clay together before placing it in the mold? Um, I don't know, and we can experiment with that if you want. So all the clay does brush off pretty nicely. So now comparing water with powder for the repel, I still prefer the water. It's a good looking green man though. I like his, he's got a nice nose. He has a randy nose. What? Just very straight bridged and very perfect. I love your nose. Randy is the most perfect nose of anyone I've seen in my entire life. Um, 
Ooh. So the truth comes out. You're only with me because of my nose. Well, I mean, there are some things about a person's face that remain unchanging, and I'm really glad I like your nose. Like, deal but with it, boo. This is gray. So this is with a marbled, um, oh, what is it, 18 karat gold? Sans the nose bush. <laughs> no, even with the nose bush, Penny, it's it's amazing. It's an amazing nose. I love those, but water looks the most crisp. Yeah. He has a good nose. <laughs> I know his nose is yours is good too. Well, <laughs> thank you, Fussy Do. <laughs> and then this was one that had like a brown and green mixture. A little bit of that sparkle. Just thinking out loud, if you use your blade to cut the excess off, but then add another color on it, would you get the cameo in two colors? You could, and that's something, but I had a really hard time filling the mold with clay and having it be flush. And I'm also not really good at, like, cutting, I don't know, I'm really bad at, like, pieces like this one. You can try one. I'll try one. Worst case scenario, you just smush it together and deal with it. Um, so I'm just going to cut them out kind of haphazardly. So, also, to get the cameo effect, I could totally just come in and paint this background. Hey, Dismond. I did. I, have a, I had a very good Thanksgiving. Thank you. I hope that goes for everyone else in here too. I bet Valerie had a very hard day today. Why is that? Don't you work at Amazon? Oh yeah. <laughs> but um, something that also that you could do is you could come through, and I have a really hard time doing this without distorting stuff. I have an even harder time doing it on camera. Because, see, it's like my blade will get caught up. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, see, if I use the slicer penny while it's still in the mold, um, then I have a really hard time getting it out of the mold, if that makes sense. What are you huffle snuffling, baby? Is your game ready? And that's why you're helpful snuffling. Ah. You could get some silicone and make a push mold from. That's true. So I'm just trying out some different things. Yeah. Should I install the next one? Go ahead and install it. Oh, this is a very small one. So that's how he came out, and that's not bad. It's not bad. I'm just going to compare them a bit side by side. Like, honest to goodness, this is probably the best this has ever come out. <laughs> um, so, like, it's never in my whole life come out that nicely before. <laughs> um, so I'm going to save this one. <laughs> Oops. Dropped him on his face. Um... Cut off while in me, then place the other... Wait, what? <laughs> Sheila says, cut off while in the mold, then place the other color on top and press and pull out. <gasps> That's a good idea, Sheila. I'm going to set this guy off to the side because I'm going to use him as like an ornament or something in a, in a fairy house. Like mm-hmm. And so now I'm going to try you should do a lighter putting some water first. in there. Okay, well, I'm going to try something else real quick. Don't make that cute face at me, Randy. Did you just hey. make that perfect Randy nose no. when you dropped him on his face? I did. I, I ruined his perfect little Randy nose. So I'm going to pull off about the same amount as what I think we used, and I just have some water in there. Um, And I'm just going to take this and smush it out. Oh, I should have used more. Um... just trying different methods because honestly when you're using scrap clay or like just um, an inexpensive clay like the black there you go oh okay hopefully I can still get this out of the mold that's hopefully you know using the water as a repel um then we can get in there Hey, Aristi. Um, Z's doing slightly better. Um, they asked how Z was doing. See, and that it tore a bit. 
Just because it does get super thin in spots. And now it's super gunked up. Okay. How are the fuzz bunnies? Um, we actually rehomed and then harvested a lot of the rabbits because Azmuth is moving in, so we had to make room for his. So that gunked it up way more than what I had intended for it to. So I'm gonna go grab a brush real quick and then I'll be right back. Be right back, guys. So, I just have a little brush here. And I'm just coming through. Can you flex the mold to get it out? No, this is a... This is a hard mold. And so I'm just getting some... Onto the thing. Mm-hmm. I wish I had a higher concentration, but this works okay. And that's the thing is that sometimes some things you can make do with less than ideal, and other times you really do just have to have the right product. Be sure to use a soft bristled brush, though. Have you tried witch hazel on Z? Um, I haven't actually. It's a pretty good idea. Um, the spray that the vet gave us, or that we went and got, um, that was recommended to us, uh, has, like, a numbing agent in it as well. We need to spray his tummy. I did. You did, and that's why he's itching it? That's why he freaked out while I got it. Oh, okay. And it's so important to clean your molds, Vaughn. Okay, so there we are. Nice, freshly cleaned mold. And you had said, Randy, you want me to put in a light color? Yeah, like either a white or cream. Cream. Or a sparkler Let me get these guys set aside into... So also, Maybe like a next cream. month, everybody, people are going to be getting all kinds of handmade cabochons from me. Like Ooh. Cream. Do what, Randy? A light cream. Oh, that's a good idea. We're going to take the mold and put hot glue and then Stone color, yeah. Maybe. Amosol gel. Green was mentioned, Vaughn. Okay, so we have. I really love the bright green color because it's like a green pearlescent. Where do you suggest getting cool cabochon molds? Um, this was from. Oh, I keep getting it. Beehive Emporium. Um, but there are lots of people who have super cool ones on Etsy and all sorts of stuff. So your moss mix would be awesome, I think. Ooh, yeah, it would. I think I'm allowed to that, though. No, I'm not. So here's the moss mix that I do. Cool Tools site has some really nice ones, too. Right on, Penny. So I'm going to put that bright green aside. And I'm just going to break off some of this. Um, I use Sculpey and Sculpey Primo. I really love the Sculpey. I haven't. I really like the Primo accents. Um, but just Sculpey is what I have most widely available to me, um, through, like, Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Hello, Kill Walker. Or Kill Walk. Okay, so I've got it on the back. I'm going to run this through the pasta machine. 
Trinity says, just want to say thank you for all your tutorials. You're pleasant to listen to and make learning so much more accessible and fun. Well, I'm glad to be helpful to you, Trinity. <laughs> Okay, so I'm running this black um, polymer clay through my pasta machine on the thickest setting. And I'm going to try to smush this in. Never done clay, do you think molds would be a good place to start? Um, molds can be a really good place to start, but also, and I can show you guys just a quick little tutorial. Um, I'm going to blot off some of the water because I want a decent contact. Um, I'll show you real quick what I would recommend for a starter project. Uh, that did not work out as well as I wanted it to. Hmm. His face came out pretty cool. I just don't know if it needed all the black on the back. Hmm. I ha Sandy, I have not used the uh, Sculpey Souffle yet. Supposed to slice off the excess cream first. Okay. It is something that I like about the hard molds much more than um, than the soft silicone ones is I don't have to worry about cutting off parts of the mold. I don't much care for that right there. Okay, I'm going to run through this through the uh, pasta machine again. there's no water on the back because that water acts like a repel so effectively and now I'm actually going to take this ball end stylus can you use cornstarch or baby powder as a release agent or would that burn during baking um you can I prefer the water because I feel like it gives a cleaner detachment with and without baby powder everywhere I'd rather have to clean up water than clean up baby powder Okay, trying again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yep, texturing the back at the same time, but doing that hammering gave us some nice adhesion. And now I'm going to go through with this same uh, cutter. So I, I look over from the top of it, and I can't look with the camera in the way. <laughs> there we go. It's not completely straight up and down. Dang it, Vaughn. There we go. A little better. And that'll look really cool with an antique over it, I think. But yeah, I think that worked out pretty well. What do you think, Randy? Yeah. Okay, so. Flipping this around. Nope, wrong way. Okay, there we go. Uh, Carol asks, does Randy know how to solder? Um, I don't. 
he doesn't but I'm sure we could learn I've been wanting to learn um so I can do my own LED work but I am going to go for a walk because I'm like super tense um but I wanted to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Please be sure to check us out on Facebook before December 1st. Because I'm going to be doing that uh, Dragon Eye giveaway. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, and I'm really excited about that. And I want everyone to be able to participate because it's international, free shipping, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you around. And we are resuming regular tutorials tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so, right on. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for hanging out with us, you guys, and happy Thanksgiving weekend. Happy Black Friday. We'll see y'all around. Bye. <laughs>